Rice is one of the most important foodstuffs in the world. It forms the staple diet for over two billion people. Rice grows best in submerged paddy fields. That's because it handles the wet conditions better than the weeds it's in competition with. Here in California, the fields are drained in September, so that huge combine harvesters can move in to collect the crop. They pull the plants in at the front and thresh them. This separates the grains from the rest of the plant. Despite only producing about 2% of the world's rice, the US is actually one of the major exporters due to its comparatively low consumption. The grains are transferred to tractors and onto trucks, which take them to a processing plant. During harvesting season, up to 3,600 tons of rice arrive at this plant every day. The delivery is weighed and a sample is taken to monitor the quality of each load. Once it's been registered, the load is released to begin its long journey through the plant. High-powered conveyor belts carry the rice to the top of the 24-meter high silos. Each one can hold 4,000 tons of rice. At this point, the rice's moisture content is around 22%. As it slides down along this grid, hot air brings that down to about 13%, which makes it hard enough to survive the next stage without getting damaged. It's passed through a mill with rubber rollers which remove the chaff. The light chaff is then blown away by a gentle stream of air. What's left is the choice of health fanatics, brown rice, though most of us prefer the white variety, which isn't as chewy. Brown rice is known as the healthy variety because the brown husk contains a lot of the nutrients. Here, to get the best of both worlds, they heat the rice under high pressure, and this forces those nutrients inside the center of the grain. Then, another set of rollers can remove the brown husk, but leave the nutrients behind. There will always be some cheeky brown rice that makes it through. So every grain passes a laser scanner. Any not quite white enough is detected and quickly dealt with by a jet of air. All that remains is for the rice to be weighed and bagged for its journey across the world. About 25% of the rice grown here in California will be shipped to Asia to help meet the huge demand. Whether it's healthy brown or healthy white, this humble grain continues to be one of the most important staples on the planet.